Let's look at generics and how to use these type arguments correctly. In general, there are two cases. You can add the generic type on the annotated type on the left side of the variable, or you can also add the generic type on the right side on the side of your values. Whereas this generic type that we have here inside, such as string, defines then which values are allowed. So you can put your strings inside, but you cannot put, for example, an integer inside, a boolean, or other objects. If you forget to define these type arguments on both sides, then Dart will automatically choose the type arguments for you and Dart will choose the type dynamic. And the type dynamic is always problematic, so you should try to avoid this because inside of this list, you can now add also other types. So you can add any type that you want. You can put strings inside, integers and other types and you can mix them all up. So all in all, it is a must to always choose the type arguments and never omit these type arguments because if you do so, then Dart will choose dynamic and this is not what you want. Let's also look at other examples here for a map. Also don't forget to put the type arguments inside because if you forget it, then Dart will choose dynamic automatically for you and this is not what you want. Therefore, make sure to always define the type arguments. And finally, let's look at another example. The global key also needs to have a type argument. And if you don't define it, then Dart will automatically choose dynamic for you. Therefore, always make sure to define your type argument. Now you might have the question how to find out if your type needs to have a type argument. You can simply hover over this type and then here on the right side you see that this type needs to have one type argument and you can also go to the other ones such as map. Here you see that the map requires even two type arguments. And lastly let's also hover over the global key and the global key as you can see also requires a type argument and this type argument even needs to be extending from this state class. All right, now you might think we are done. So you only need to define the generic types and then everything is okay. However, as you can see, this whole line of code is really unreadable and therefore it is simply wrong to use such unreadable code. And also if you want to change the generic type, then you always need to change it on the left side and on the right side. And this is not really practical. Therefore, make sure to not write your code like this. Instead, there is a simple rule. In case you use a final const or war, then omit the type on the left side completely and only put the generics on the right side. And if you don't want to make your variable only readable, you also want to modify it, then you could also, for example, use a type. And for this case, you define then the generics on the left side and on the right side, you omit this type argument. Let's look at even more examples. Here we use const, one of these keywords, and therefore define the generics on the value side on the right side. So we only define the generics on the right side. And here is another example. We have the keyword war. This is also inside of this keyword list. And if this is the case, then we define the generics on the right side only. Let's also look at some more examples for the type. First of all, we have a map. This is a type on the left side and therefore we also define the generics on the left side. And also here we have a type defined on the left side, therefore we define the generics on the left side. And on the right side you don't define here anymore the generics. You only initialize your object, in this case the global key, and on the right side you don't define any generics, so make sure to remove this. So all in all, make sure to follow this simple rule. If you use final, const or war, then put the type arguments on the right side, on the value side. And if you use a type such as list, map or any other types, then always put the type arguments only on the left side. And on the right side, you don't have any type arguments. With this, our unreadable code becomes pretty clear as you can see. And also these long lines of code are not so good. Instead, make it short and precise. Also, if you have final const and war and on the right side, you always have a value. In these cases, make sure to not use, for example, final or const and after it's a type, because if you use both together, final and the type, this would be too much to read as you can see. So if you use final const or war, then make sure to remove the type on the left side. Because if you use one of these keywords, then Dart is clever enough to know from the right side, from the value 
value side what type this variable will be. So if you hover over this variable, you see that Dart already knows this is of list string. Or if I hover over this variable, you see that Dart knows this is of map string int. And this is especially what we have defined here on the right side. So Dart already knows this. And also for the key, if I hover over it, you see that Dart knows that this variable is of type global key. And inside we have the type arguments form state. And this is exactly what we also have defined on the right side. So Dart already knows all of this information for our variable. Also another case is for empty lists and empty maps and so on. You always need to define the type arguments. However, in case your list has, for example, a value already inside and also your map has, for example, a value inside, then you also don't need to define the type argument string because out of it, we already know that this is a string. So Dart is clever enough to know that this is a string and therefore also our variable will be of type list string. The same for the map we have defined as the value string and integer and therefore you also don't need to define the type argument string and integer because Dart is clever enough to know it. If you hover over this variable, you see that out of this value information, Dart already knows that this is a map of string and integer. Next to the final const and war keyword, we also had the type. And if you use a type on the left side and then place on the right side, for example, a value inside of your list or a value inside of your map, then in this case, you cannot remove the type arguments on the left side. Because if you do so and you hover over this variable, then you see that this variable is of list dynamic and this is not what you want. So he will not automatically choose list string, even if you have defined on the right side the value. Because whenever you define the type on the left side without the required type arguments, then Dart will simply choose the type arguments for you. And this will be then dynamic or for the map, it will be dynamic dynamic and it will not choose the type arguments based on the value on the right side. Therefore, it is always important if you define the type on the left side that you also define the generics correctly. And also for the map, you define the generics correctly. And with this, if we hover again over our variable, you see we have the right type with the right type arguments. The same problem also occurs if you use such as type list or map that always requires some generics inside of your type arguments, then Dart will also choose dynamic for you. So if I hover over this variable, you see that it chooses completer and as our type argument list of dynamic. So basically Dart defines it for you if you don't define it. And the same for the map here also inside of our type arguments, it will define then dynamic dynamic for us. Let's also look at another case. Here we have a variable of completer map. And here we also have not defined the type arguments correctly of our map. And therefore Dart will also choose for this variable dynamic dynamic so it will simply define it for us if we forget it. And therefore always make sure to define the type arguments correctly, even if it is inside of a type argument. And this is what you do then for all of these different places. Next, I want to emphasize that even if you put a list to final or const, this means you can still modify it. So you can still add some values to this list, you can remove some values from this list, even if it is final. The only thing that this final does, for example, is that you cannot assign a completely new list to this variable. And the same works also for const. With const, you could also modify this list. So you can add some values, you can remove values from this list. However, you cannot assign a complete new list to your variable. Also, in case you choose instead of const or final, simply war. This means you can do modifications in your list as well as that you can assign a new list to your variable. And instead of war, if you choose a list and the type argument string so that it matches with these values, then also both is possible. You can do modifications and you also can assign it to a new list. And exactly the same thing applies to a map. You can make it final. You can still do some modifications inside of this map. However, if you have chosen final, then you cannot assign it. If you want to assign it, then choose instead of final or const simply war. And then the assignments also work again. Or alternatively to a war, you could then also choose this specific map 
where you define the type arguments yourself in string. This would also work. These are exactly the type arguments that match with these values. And in this case, also the assignments work next to the modifications. All right, let's also apply the knowledge we have learned with some practical examples. First of all, we have a list. And as you see, we define the type on the left side. And therefore, we should also define the generics on the left side and not on the right side. And this looks then like this. Alternatively to defining yourself that this is a list of integers, you can also let Dart make the work because Dart already knows based on this value that this is a list of integers. So you can basically define it as final or as war. Let's look at the next example. Here we define the type on the left side and therefore the generics should be on the left side. So this is correct. However, you don't need to define the generics again on the right side and therefore keep it simple and remove the type arguments from the right side. Alternatively, again, instead of this list int defining yourself, you can then also choose war or final. For the next example, we have the keyword final on the left side and therefore we should define on the right side the generics. And if we don't define it, then it will be simply dynamic dynamic and therefore make sure to define also your type arguments. Let's also look at the next example. Here we have a type of map. And since we define the type on the left side, therefore we should also have the generics on the left side. However, you should not have the generics also on the right side. So you can simply remove these type arguments. And alternatively to writing map string string, you could also define a war and then you define the type arguments on the right side. For the next example, we have the keyword final and this means we should define the type arguments on the right side. This is correct what we have done here on the right side. However, on the left side, we have defined again the type. So we should not define final and the type. And here the problem is even if we define the type like this, then Dart will choose for us global key of dynamic and it will override the generics that we have defined on the right side and therefore it is wrong to define the type. Instead, keep it simple, just put final inside and Dart will then determine correctly the variable for you that it is of type global key form state. The next line is pretty long. On the left side, we have the type stream controller and therefore you should also define the generics on the left side. This is totally fine. However, on the right side, you should not define the generics. Also, what we have learned in the last videos is that a stream controller is more accessed and you don't write again to this variable. And therefore, you don't need to define the type because you don't need to write again to the stream controller variable. Therefore, you can also define it final. And this is then pretty short. You define then on the right side the generics instead. For the next example, we have final map. And you shouldn't define final and the type of your variable together because this is pretty long. So best practice is to choose the final keyword and get rid of this type. And if we choose final, then we should define the type arguments on the right side like this. However, since we also have already some values inside of our map, therefore Dart can determine these uh, generics automatically for us and we don't need to define these generics. And with this, our line looks like this. We only need to define the final on the left side and the remaining part will Dart do automatically for us. Alternatively to making it final, we could also choose the map. However, not choose simply only a map without any generics. This would be wrong because we need to define the generics on the left side. Therefore, make sure to choose the generics on the left side. And alternatively to defining yourself that this is a map of int string, you could also let Dart make the work because based on the values on the right side, Dart already knows that this is integer and string. And therefore, you could also keep it short like this, where you, for example, define war or final on the left side. And lastly, we have here this really long special case. So let's look at it. First of all, we define on the left side a type. So future is also a type. And since we define it on the left side, therefore also put the generics on the left side. And here on the right side, we don't need any generics. So we can remove these generics from our future. And also here for the list, we don't need these generics. And with this, our whole code becomes more readable. So on the right side, we have basically no generics while we keep the generics on the left side. And again, alternatively to defining yourself that this is a future of list integer, you can also let Dart make the work because it knows already that this is a list of integer and wrapped inside of a future. And therefore, you could also just define war or final and Dart will then determine the remaining part for you.